Hi. Every year I see the same question being asked. What is the best way of attaching a leader to a fly line? Well, in order to answer that question, there needs to be some qualifying questions asked first. What fly are you trying to cast? What fish are you trying to catch? And how big are those fish going to be? Looking at the weakest connection, we're looking at the needle knot. It is arguably the best for presentation. So there you go. There's the uh, needle knot. Brilliant for presentation. Demonstration casters love it. Um, but it's not very strong and I wouldn't be inclined to use it if I knew there was fish over sort of two pounds in weight in the river that I'm fishing in. Next up, we've got probably the most popular knot for attaching leaders, which is the nail knot. All good and well, but when you're on the river bank, sometimes tying the nail knot can be a bit tricky. And if you're into a fish of a lifetime, it can pull over the fly line. And last but not least, if you need to change your leader for whatever reason to a thicker breaking strain or because your taper leader's got too short, whatever, you can't because it's secured on there. Next option, which is to have a loop. Some of the manufacturers increasingly have a, a welded loop on, but the purists out there will say they're too bulky. What I've done on mine is, uh, these are barrier lines, they don't come with pretty welded loops. Really great, affordable lines. In fact, a lot of instructors use them. And all I've done is use a nail knot to attach an extra loop made out of, and that, that little section that is just made out of amnesia fishing line, uh, 22 pound amnesia fishing line. So that allows me to change the leader whenever I want. And then if you're stripping back great big lures, the likes of that sort of thing, fishing for pike, salmon, sea trout and the likes, the stronger you make the leader connection, the better. So what I've got on here is a braided connector running about 20 centimetres. I've then got two nail knots, one there, one there. And I've also got some shrink tubing on there. That is not coming off. And it's ugly, it slaps down, it's heavy, but at the end of the day, you're accelerating the line so quickly that it really doesn't matter. I hope that helps. If you want any questions, ask. Hopefully it'll save you having to, like I did, listen to about 100 people who all think they're best informed and figure it out for yourself. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, click the notification bell for future uh, videos. Cheers.